Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, and in this video I'm going to show you how to limit or disable post revisions for posts and pages inside of your WordPress site. And the reason you want to do this is every time you make a change to a post or a page and save it, it adds a revision to the database. So if you are updating your posts and pages a lot and you have a lot of posts and pages, you're going to have a lot of information in your, in your database that doesn't need to be there that's causing it to be bigger than it should and that's causing it to run slower than it should. In general, I find having three revisions available, so the last three times you saved it, in other words, the last three changes you made and saved, those revisions are available to revert back to. I find that to be a great number. If you do do a lot of, haha, <laughs> I said do do. If you do do a lot of post revisions, I suggest that you have a couple more backups, maybe five or 10 because you want to have them just in case something breaks. So I'm going to show you how to do this right now via the WP config file. If we log into our hosting account, we're using HostGator for a demo site. And you find the file manager option and you open the document root for the website that you're working on. And you can also do this via FTP if you're more comfortable in FTP. Once you open the file manager, you want to click on WP config and then click on the edit button. And anywhere above where it says, anywhere above where it says, that's all, stop editing, happy blogging, you want to paste this piece of code, which I have below this video as well, so you can just copy and paste it from there. But you want to paste this code that basically tells WP post revisions to only store three revisions for any post and page for that matter. And if you want to save five, you just change the three to a five. If you want to save 10, you change the five to a 10 or the three to a 10. If you don't want to save any, replace it with the word false. And now you're not going to save any post revisions. But I like to keep it at three and you just save the file, then you go back to your website, refresh your dashboard, make sure nothing's broken, make sure it all loads fine, go to the home page, make sure it's all fine, and it's all good to go. So that will now, any future posts that you make, you only have three revisions available. Or an existing post, say you had a post that already had 14 revisions, Making that change in your WP config file will not delete the extra revisions. However, the next time you go into that post and make a change, you will be reduced down to three. So those 14, they aren't erased automatically. They will be erased the next time you save that page. If you want to go through and delete all the revisions for all your posts at the, at the same time, or delete a certain number, like delete any that are more than three, you have to go into your PHP my admin and enter a specific SQL query that I have pasted below this video as well. You enter that query and it will delete all the posts or all the extra revisions on all your posts and pages. And then you'll have a much smaller WordPress database that's going to run a lot faster. So in this video, we learned how to limit our post revisions or have them not at all, disable them completely, and how to update your uh, your pages and posts so that they now reflect the new number of revisions. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from the WP Learning Lab. Please make sure that you share this video, like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.